Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. This week, okay, we have something a bit dangerous. We are playing with glass and thankfully all of my fingers are still intact. So as you know, I have done a couple of videos where I have DIY'd my rubbish and I've been drinking a lot of Guinness and gin and I had some bottles left over and I've been saving them up and I decided I wanted to play with cutting a glass today. Goes without saying, this video, um, it's a bit, not that it's more advanced for playing with glass, health and safety, take your time, do not attempt this if you're not confident at all. You can just watch or you could get someone to help you. Um, but it was easier than I thought and it wasn't because I actually managed to cut some glass. I'm gonna get straight into the how-to. I have two methods of how I cut the glass. Both thankfully worked. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, cheeky thumbs up, turn the bell on if you wanna get notifications on my videos as well. And here's how I cut my glass. The first method we are gonna do in this video is with a bottle cutter and we're gonna use some boiling water and cold water method. I picked up this bottle cutter off Amazon and at first I found it really difficult to use. It just was not working for me, but I persevered and it actually turned out to cut the large Hendrix bottle really, really easily. So persevere, I will link to this bottle cutter below. To use a bottle cutter, you are going to adjust it so it fits your bottle and then you're gonna turn it towards you whilst applying some pressure. You're also just gonna make sure that the little scoring knife is touching the bottle. So it's easy to adjust this and fiddle with it. Just play around with it and persevere. When you have scored the whole way around, you will see a line and then you're gonna take it to the sink and I tried it with boiling water and cold water. The kit actually came with little rubber bands that you can put on, which I think I may have lost them, but it does make it easier to keep the boiling water on the score line. It roughly takes me two or three times with the rotation of boiling water and cold water for it to snap off. It was easier on the Hendrix bottle though, and I thought the Hendrix bottle would be harder because it's thicker glass, but it actually was easier to split than the Guinness bottle. Once you have split your bottle, you are then going to sand it with some sandpaper. The bottle cutting kit actually does come with some sandpaper, but you can just use some medium to fine grit to kind of smooth any edges. You don't want to cut yourself off these bottles. If you don't get a clean cut, I wouldn't bother sanding. I would just throw it away and start again on a new bottle to get a clean cut. I decided to use my Hendrix bottle as a vase, but you could use it for a candle or anything you want. I picked up these faux flowers in Home Sense. You get them in TK Maxx as well. I wanted to do like a summer wild flower kind of theme because that's I think my favorite time in the garden. I just love cottage wild flowers. So I trimmed them to size and I just use a pliers. I find them really good when you are using artificial flowers. Your scissors can't really break through, so I definitely recommend a pliers. I also popped in some Oasis. I love the feel of this because I find when I pop artificial flowers into a vase, they kind of, they, they flop out. Um, I think they're quite heavy. So popping the Oasis in just kept them in place. And that is what I did with my Hendrix bottle. So the next technique we're going to do involves a power tool. I wanted to cut this bottle on its side so I was kind of experimenting but it worked out. So earlier this summer I got a rotary cutter from Ryobi, the guys kindly gifted it to me and I've been kind of testing it on a few different things, you know, china, 
wood, but I really wanted to use it on glass. So I taped up my bottle as a guide and I got a glass cutting disc for the rotary tool. If you do get this rotary tool, I use like universal bits. So any burrs you can get off Amazon, they seem to fit. And you can also use some of the Dremel bits as well. When you are cutting glass or china, it's really important that you use a bit that is for glass, PVC, china. Normally diamond bits is what you use. And I can link to some of them in the description box if you do want to pick them up. A normal cutting disc will not cut through glass and you can end up doing more damage. You will also need some health and safety gear for this. I'm just wearing eye protection, my mask, and I'm also using a glove just to protect my hand. I'm on the second highest speed setting for the rotary cutter and I'm just popping it on. You will see that I have some water running on the glass. This is just to keep the disc cool. If you don't keep it cool, you risk the glass bottle cracking and you also damage your cutting disc and you don't get as long out of it. I'm sorry for the poor camera angle on this. When I was cutting it, I didn't realize that my arm was pretty much in the shot, but I basically just kept slowly drilling it along. It is quite noisy as well, so you will sound like you're on a building site when you're cutting this, but it is worth it. When I got the cut that I was happy with, I just sanded and I just smoothed the edges, and I decided to turn mine into a little garden. You can add drainage holes to your bottle if you really want to, depending on the flower or plant that you are putting in. I am putting succulents in, which are quite tolerant to drought, but do make sure that you use a special succulent soil and just make sure that the roots don't rot, so don't give them too much water. I do have succulents in jars that have no drainage. They just have lots of stone and soil and they are going strong. So just be careful um, and just be conscious that they don't have as much drainage. So here is my finished bottle. You will also see that I experimented and I cut open an old Coco Chanel perfume bottle. I love Coco Mademoiselle. I didn't get the cleanest cut, but it did work out for me. I also chopped up a couple of Guinness bottles as well, which you're gonna see. So that's my cut glass, thrilled with how they turned out. I obviously styled mine with flowers. I just didn't have time to make, you know, candles or do something else creative with the bottles. But there's so much you could do. You could do lamps, which I think I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna order a lamp kit because I wanna do my teacup lamp. If you've seen my china plate DIY, I can link to that. You can also do candles. I can also link to a candle video. I think I've done two candle videos, a teacup candle um, and then soy candles in bean cans I've done recently. Um, and I've burnt them and thumbs up, so good so far. Or so far, so good. So good so far, so far, so good. <laughs> you could also do something where you hang the chopped tops. So you do like a garland or something in the garden. You could do so many things. You could make a board feeder. God, it's endless. So with both methods, I use some sort of safety gear because obviously glass, the tiniest of little shards do kind of pop off, especially when the glass is at that stage where it just breaks. So make sure you have some gloves. You'll notice I'm actually using kids gardening gloves. That is because I have really tiny hands. So safety gloves are too big and I think it's better for me to wear gloves that actually fit me, that I can control instead of wearing ones that are too big. So just use your own savvy when it comes to that. Take your time, be careful, get someone to help you if you are nervous to do it. Um, and most importantly, just have fun as well. The bottle cutter. I actually thought when I first got the bottle cu cutter, I thought it was the biggest pile of shite ever. But then I tried it on the Hendrix bottle and it worked. And I tried it again on the Guinness bottle and it worked. So persevere if you do buy a bottle cutter. They do work, but it took me a good few goes to get it to actually work. Um, and I also found that for some reason, Guinness bottles, the glass in them is harder to cut than the Hendrix and I thought that was going to be the hardest because it's really thick. So I don't know, maybe the thicker the easier. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Guinness bottles are harder 
down to gin balls. So that's it for this week. If you want to see the DIY My Rubbish playlist, I think there's about eight or nine videos in it now. I have blue rolls into cute little pouch things. I've got milk cartons recycled, bean cans recycled, um, shoe boxes recycled. There's lots of stuff over on that playlist. If you want to check it out, I can link it here um, if I remember to. So that's it. Be safe and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend as well and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.